Alright, so I'm doing a challenge trying to platinum every single game inside of the Ubisoft Plus game catalog on PlayStation. And if I can't do it before we hit 690,000 subscribers on YouTube, then I have to tattoo the platinum logo somewhere on my body. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Yeah. Alright, so today I platinum the final Far Cry game I have left to do, and it's the newest one, Far Cry 6. There is a total of 54 trophies, including the platinum, and one trophy takes three weeks to get, which was just amazing to do. So the first stage of the platinum is to obviously just beat the main story, like it is in every single other game to ever exist. The first trophy is gotten right after we get an intro into the game setting and first few characters, that being Danny Rojas, who is the main character. And after we pick to be a guy or a girl character, a trophy just pops for that. I should also mention we are joined by one of Danny's friends and his sister, I think. I honestly can't remember. I played this intro over three weeks ago now. But long story short, his friend gets domed in the head and is no longer with us. God bless his soul. And his sister also dies on a beach a few minutes after that. So, uh... Danny is now on the typical Far Cry game revenge story that so many others follow. We then got to play the game ourselves, and the first goal is to find Libertad, who is the main, uh, I guess, militia we are trying to join that fights back against the evil villain, the guy from Breaking Bad. And also this meme that I use in every video. Anyways, my next trophy was gotten not from anything story, but just from petting my amigo crocodile that I have acquired. We are now best friends. And if I'm being completely honest, this entire first one to two hours of gameplay is all just tutorial into how Far Cry 6 works, in terms of missions, and also plot set up before we head over to the actual place the game takes place in. For now, we have been on an island called Isla Santuaro, as they call it. I probably just butchered that, but I don't care. And we've pretty much just been doing chores for Juan, who is like daddy, and also the arms dealer. So he is the arms dealer daddy, if you will. But at some point here, I also gathered a full clothing set from chest and mission rewards, which once putting them all on and being absolutely dripped out in the fit, not only did my aura go up, but so did my trophy count. One of the people on my friends list also joined my party, Party right here and we took over an FND base together which popped me another trophy and I'm also pretty sure this is the only co-op trophy in Far Cry 6. If it's not the only one then this is awkward. That's what I'm saying. So we have been on this intro island for quite some time now but finally got to leave it after completing this mission titled Libertad Rises. The mission had us as you can probably see just completely take over and blow up some ships that belong to the FND who are the evil people and you literally just destroy everything along with everyone until a baddie comes in to take you away to Sure. We also finally got to see some cutscenes for the story and got a glimpse at Mr. Breaking Bad himself. This is also pretty much the only time we ever see the main villain, by the way, in completely unrelated cutscenes that take place in an entirely different area of the game. I understand the reviews now. I am also disappointed. However, we did finally get to go to the main island for the rest of the game's story, and before doing anything else, I just drove away on a boat, leaving it all behind because this fight is out of my hands. I can't do this shit anymore. Yeah, that was the Far Cry optional ending trophy, if you couldn't tell. Honestly, the only good thing in this game. What a great way to get a refund fast. Speaking of refunds, this game definitely is not worth the price that it goes for. God bless PlayStation Plus Premium Ultra Deluxe Fantastic Theater that I have. And the main complaint most people give Far Cry 6 is that both the story and character progression are pretty much non-existent. For one, the story has us chasing down random bad guys the entire game. That is the whole story, you know, just doing missions to reach them and kill them. Hardly ever getting any interactions with the one reason in marketing that people actually bought the game for. Los Poyos Hermanos. But aside from the dry story, there is literally no character progression. Like, there isn't even skill points or a skill upgrade tree in the game, which is super odd because every other Far Cry game has that. But enough of my complaining, I know you all love it, so we must get back to the trophies. My next one was gotten in the middle of a non-sequential story mission where I was being chased ruthlessly by men in cars. And I also had this fancy little meter at the max, which indicates that I am wanted. This is the cop level, sort of, or heat level, if you will. And because it was max and I got 10 kills with it being max, I got this trophy. And my next trophy was also another combat trophy, just from killing 10 special forces. And no, not special special people, just enemies with little shields on their head that make them stronger. I would then reach the final mission to the storyline I've been following called the Monteros. Along with us having to kill enemy leaders throughout the game, you also have to recruit counter-terrorist organizations in those same areas, sort of coinciding with the takedown of evil leaders. So you pretty much do both at the same time, and this final fight was with Jose Castillo and his helicopter from the heavens. But with one swift, or rather dragged out combat section, I managed to take him down as you would expect with an explosion that I did not see because it happened off camera. Just trust me, okay? Anyways, that was it for him, and the Monteros also joined us right after this cutscene with Gus Fring and his adopted son that has nothing to do with anything. My next trophy gotten was then another storyline completions, this time with the Mantanzas. Not gonna lie, those both sound the same. But this one's final mission wasn't just a simple kill evil guy fight. Oh no, I had to like infiltrate and destroy this lab and then exfil out. It was low-key a Call of Duty mission, I can't lie. But it also sucked because the enemies just did not stop and it got 
got so old so fast. However, once we got exfilled from arms dealer daddy Juan, I would get the trophy, so take that. A while later, I was then taking over a cargo ship. You know, a normal Tuesday as the main character in the Far Cry universe. But while here, I took control of a security panel and disabled all of the alarms and cameras at once with it. Now, if that ain't Godspeed, I don't know what is. Speaking of speed, I ran over a lot of people in this game, sort of as a hobby when traveling around since it gets a bit boring, and I needed something to pass the time and excite me. So yeah, anyways, right here ended up being my 10th roadkill murder crime committed in the game, and a trophy was from it. My next trophy was then another storyline completion trophy, but this time it combined two of them together, being the Legends of 67, which are just old men that fought in a war over 40 years ago, and La Morale, some Spanish thing. So yeah, this took me over five hours after the previous storyline trophy to get, since I had to complete two separate ones just for this single trophy. It concluded with us hijacking McKay's big old boat he was hiding on to obviously kill him since he is one of Gus Spring's henchmen and in control of something in the FND military operation. But as we were about to kill the guy, he basically told us that Juan, the arms dealer, daddy, struck a deal with him for a load of money to fund our operation. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed in Juan, that's kind of low. What a sellout, am I right? So yeah, I shot the guy in between cutscenes and now this game is no longer canon. Anyways, we also got to see Gus Fring and his child again in another unrelated cutscene that just happens to remind us that he is indeed getting paid multiple six figures just to be a cameo in this game. Round of applause for nothing. And now it's time to do the finale for Far Cry 6, which is the next trophy I got. Basically, we never actually caught Gus Fring. I know, a truly sad day. But we did get to watch as he took himself out along with his son. Uh, yeah, that's the ending of the game. Uh, what a great conclusion to a great story. Just ending with no drama because everyone is dead. Anyways, here's the last story trophy and now we can thankfully move on to the surprisingly fun part of this platinum. Doing absolutely everything else. Uh, I should rephrase. Not fun, but entertaining. <laughs> and my next trophy I got was from completing a special operation. These are like side missions you can do, but you get sent to some other location that isn't necessarily accessible normally. Basically, you have to speak to Lola and she takes you somewhere in a taxi where you have to steal a container of PX45090500 or something stupid. It's essentially just a very toxic and dangerous substance that we want to steal. Also, I did this now because it's a part of the three week long trophy where you have to take out three insurgent leaders. And to get one to spawn in, you must do a special operation once a week when it's available. Anyway, sorry for the yap fest there. Here's the trophy from it. So I then took a break from Far Cry 6 for two weeks, just playing once a week to real quick do the insurgent challenges. As I've said, because that trophy does indeed require you to wait real life time to pass before more become available. Sadly though, while doing it, I accidentally took over 10 checkpoints in the game and got this trophy pop, which I barely caught my recording software since I wasn't recording when playing. But also in addition to that, I got the glorious leader trophy for reaching a certain level rank in the game. Those are essentially useless though, so I'm just gonna throw it away. Alright, the next trophy I did get though wasn't the three-week insurgent one I have been bitching about. Oh no, it was actually just from doing an FND base completely stealthy. I chose to do this next because I logged on for the third week and sort of forgot how to play, so I just began doing the list since I was lost. And doing an FND base completely stealthy, by the way, is probably the best way to do these since if an alarm gets triggered, they bring in like 20 enemies and tanks and it's just god awful. But I did do it stealthy, so there's that trophy. I also did then just commit to doing every single FND base in the entire game, which took two hours to do. There was 21 of them, and I kind of want to cry now, but we still have so many trophies left, we can't do that until we're finished. So I continued on with the torturous grind of Far Cry 6 side activities, landing next on another FND activity, this time being the anti-air defense systems that shoot you out of the sky no matter what you are flying. And to take them all out, all you have to do is throw a single grenade in the near 20 feet proximity of one. So there's that trophy from doing 16 total in the game. I also finally did reach the third insurgent leader mission. This one was hard though because I had no clue where it was on the map, but I am just now realizing that it does indeed say what part of the map it is in, so I'm officially declaring myself a retard. And yeah, there's the trophy from taking out three insurgent leaders. Not hard at all. Literally just have to wait real time, which is dumb. Actually though, this trophy could be impossible if you had terminal cancer and only two weeks left to live. Just a thought. Huh? Oh yeah, I then got 10 supply crates from the F&D. These are super dumb because you have to go spawn them in yourself from activating one on a nearby military radio station and then chase it down in a time limit. It's it's just stupid, but there's the trophy. There was then a yarn story that I had to do just for a trophy that required us to find these three artifacts around the map. And the last one was in a haunted house that you could only go in during nighttime. So I just waited and waited and waited and waited even more. Basically, I'm trying to convey the feeling of realization I had when I realized that Far Cry's days last forever. But once I got into the haunted house, the artifact was just in a well that you also have to slightly explode and then grab. And then also return back to a cave and also fight a furry that glows. 
great experience. Another great experience I had was when cockfighting. I love playing with cocks, particularly mine, so this was a swell time. I didn't like, though, when the other dude beat mine. That was a bit annoying because I'm not into that. However, I did come first, so who's the real winner now? I then got to complete three grand races or whatever this game calls the race time trials. I'm not too sure to be honest, but overall, they are hard to do. In fact, they aren't hard at all, and after I finished my first one, I actually got a car for it, which was my fourth car total, and that's apparently a trophy. I also then just did two more races easily because they aren't difficult, like I've said, and there's that trophy. I did have to do one more, though, to get more race car parts because I haven't yet unlocked all of them needed for the 10 parts trophy, so I just played one more race, got the parts, and they actually auto equip, so I got the trophy for that in addition. I then landed on, honestly, the most RNG trophy in the entire trophy list. It's from playing a Domino's game. Yeah, a Domino's game. You basically have to line up dominoes in order according to the edge domino number, but you also have to try and have the least amount of numerical value at the end. However, it honestly doesn't matter since you need to be the first one out anyway to win, and this took me four tries to do, by the way, which is just luck, so yeah, eventually I won. Not sure how, I guess the game felt bad. I then began grinding for some more time-consuming trophies, so on the way to getting them, I also occasionally remembered some easy trophies to do. Firstly, being just from taking down an enemy off a horse. Very easy, you just push down R3 and jerk your wiener. I also got an easy trophy from just fully upgrading a camp upgrade. Yes, Far Cry 6 does indeed have those dumb base upgrades like some other recent mid Ubisoft games that we all love so much. And the trophy I've been grinding for these past few hours while doing those other trophies, by the way, has been the Arm to the Teeth trophy. It's from getting 49 unique weapons in the game. But since I got given the special edition or whatever from PS Plus, I already had quite a few unique ones, so it popped a bit before 49 right here. I then just simply returned to arms dealer daddy Juan and bought all of his Supremo weapons. These are basically just rocket launcher backpacks in the game that also do different things, but all end in mass destruction. The next trophy I got, however, was a bit less exciting and just consisted of me making a lot of food and becoming the fry cry as they say. God, the Ubisoft developer team is just so funny. Look at that room of representation. Anyways, we have now reached the collectible part of the trophy list, so that sucks ass. But the first collectible I did was the USB sticks. I then did these things called cryptogramma chess. Basically, you just had to find two little pieces of paper before you could actually open the chess, and it makes zero sense. I also, right after that, finally finished five bandito operations. These are another little passive quest that you have to do where you send off recruits to go take over some camp or get something. It's a lot like the naval assault in Assassin's Creed games where you send assassins to other cities to take them over. But this time you have to solve like multiple situations throughout and it's low key BS sometimes. But I did five of them so there's that trophy. I then returned back to the collectibles and found 19 roosters around the game, all shoved into little tiny crates. God I love cocks. I also found the final amigo needed in the game and it was actually the boomer dog from Far Cry 5. I love you, homie. I love you. I then farmed a trophy from distracting 10 enemies with Chorizo, who is the disabled wiener dog amigo that we have. And you can actually do it on the same enemy over and over, but it's better to do it on multiple of the same enemies over and over. So there's that trophy. I also just blew up a shark with a rocket launcher. W Far Cry 3 reference in addition. And then I caught a bunch of fish, which by the way, I hate in Far Cry games. It's just stupid and not needed. Speaking of stupid things, I had to use an EMP on a tank and hijack it. However, I was unaware that the Suprema with an EMP doesn't shoot away from you and and instead just unleashes it right onto you. Thankfully, it hit the tank I was after somehow, and I managed to hijack it with literally zero time remaining. God bless America. I then got a trophy from just fully unlocking all the mods and a resolver weapon in the game. My next trophy was then just from simply sabotaging an alarm box and waiting for an enemy to try and call reinforcements on it, only for them to get blown up like someone who gets blown up. Idiot. Speaking of things that get blown up, you can't do that on this next trophy because I had to take three F&D resource vehicles all the way to a vehicle drop-off point without them getting hurt or getting the materials taken out, and and yeah, that's not hard to do, so there's that trophy. I also then just bought every single base upgrade's first upgrade. Basically, just buying them all once for a trophy. And I managed to slide over 200 meters straight down this sloped hill, or slippery mountain if you will, for a trophy. I also had to wait until nighttime again so this jaguar would spawn in so I could kill it for a trophy from killing elite animals. However, while waiting, I was high up in the sky and just shot a rocket down at an enemy on a horse. And I got a trophy from killing someone from over 50 meters above. And then finally, the jaguar spawned in during nighttime. I did have to go back to main menu for it to spawn in though since it just wasn't but anyways the fight isn't hard at all but i gotta say that's one big pussy right there just pop the trophy and let's move on. My final trophy in the main game was then from poisoning five enemies and having them kill someone while poisoned. Low key, I can't give any insight into how you should do this because I literally just ran around poisoning people hoping they would kill someone and it was kind of balls. But I did get the trophy, so now the remaining three trophies I have are all inside of the special operations. 
first I decided to farm the Save 30 Hostage Trophy, which is done by completing the Hostage Rescue side quest during this one mission. It happens at the same time no matter what you do in the special operation, but the location they are in does alter between three. And every time you save all three hostages, you can then just reload the entire mission and do it again. So yeah, it's a bit of a grindy trophy, but there it is. My second trophy here was then just from grabbing this special chest on a specific level. Not sure why this is a thing, but it is. And the final one I had was to finish a special operation without the PX substance going 50% or higher in terms of overheating. And honestly, this isn't hard once you buy the parkour outfit because it lets you run super fast and super long, making it much easier to get the shade and water to cool it down. So once I finished the special operation right here and got that trophy, the platinum popped right along with it. So that was the Far Cry 6 platinum trophy experience. Overall, I gotta say Far Cry 6 is probably one of the most useless Far Cry games aside from New Dawn. It has almost no story that is worth playing and the entire game was literally just a shell out because of Giancarlo Esposo's inclusion in it. I'm not sure how you say his name, but W man's for getting that bag. Can't hate on him. However, Ubisoft, come on, man. At least try to make a cool story next time if you have arguably the best villain in cinema in your own game. Putting it in out of 10 though, I'm gonna give Far Cry 6 a solid 4. It's mid in general, but then the fact that they had the legend in it and it was still mid makes it below mid. So that's it. Goodbye.